Hi, I'm Matt Matson for the Resources Coalition, and I'm here to talk to you about mercury and its removal from the stream beds by small-scale suction dredges. Dredges remove mercury with their sluice boxes every year. Today, we're removing pounds of mercury from the streams, and we're doing that free to the taxpayers via our small-scale suction dredges. A lead collection barrels there's an example in front of the Dredge Earth First booth, and uh, the state is in uh, doing some tests on how much lead, mercury, etc., that we remove. But what the mercury does is, if you get these mercury pieces rolled together, this got uh, the mercury on it. It actually, the mercury kind of flows together, and it makes it look like you've got a great big piece. Uh -huh. uh, that's why the old timers used to use mercury. They put mercury well, how about that? First one. Um, pick that up out dredging. We uh, uh, really hate to give that up. <laughs> Sometimes it has gold in it. Basically, I've got about 10 hours of dredging in to get this small amount right here. Mm -hmm. This is what I got in the two months I dredged last year. Wow. When you look at the rough sides on it, you'll see the fine gold that's in the mercury. Yes. You're getting some. This is mercury out of the South Empire River. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Wow. Where'd you say that was from? Four or five pounds. How long here? The South Empire. Uh huh. And how long did it take, take you to collect that? Probably about a week. A week? A week. Mm -hmm. This is about five pounds. See the mercury? Why don't we take a look at it? There are important concepts and truths about heavy metal collection in streams. Small-scale prospecting equipment is very efficient at removing mercury and lead. The example you saw was taken at the DEF rally in Oregon, where pounds of mercury were turned into state hazmat teams. Section dredging is the only practical method of recovering elemental mercury in waterways. In California, 230 pounds of mercury was turned in at the first all summer collection site in 2000. Also, we remove lead and other debris that is accumulated in our waterways and dispose of them. This process is the least disruptive to habitat and is fish friendly in numerous ways. As you can see here, fish are using the activity for their own benefit. The resulting clean gravel leaves an area for future spawning. The Resources Coalition thanks you and urges you to find the time to help with our efforts.